Hey everybody, Norm over here with my buddy Dave Yorkin, and Dave is my co-author of my book. He's a great writer, and uh, I got to give props to his dad too. His dad <laughs> was Bud Yorkin, recently passed away, but he Thanks, was the creator of All in the Family, Sanford and Son, so many great TV shows, and he comes from a great lineage, and he's a great writer himself. So uh, I coerced him into doing the book with me. <laughs> And Dave is holding a really special guitar, a 1959 D'Angelico XL Cutaway in blonde. Just a stunning guitar, one of the all-time greats. Dave, you know, talk to me a little bit about, you love arch tops and all I that. do love arch tops, and if you're looking for arch tops, this is like the ultimate cutaway D'Angelico blonde. As a matter of fact, I may have to have it myself, but right now he's going to let me play it. Yeah, why don't you just show us a little uh, stuff on this? So just a little backstory on D'Angelico's. D'Angelico was, John D'Angelico was out of New York and he was a boutique uh, archtop guitar maker. Uh, he made some other instruments too, but primarily archtop guitars. And he made for the biggest and biggest names in the uh, industry, like Oscar Moore at the time played with Nat King Cole, Irving Ashby played with Nat King Cole, all those kind of guys. He would custom make a guitar to their specs. And, um, you know, they would tell him I would like this thicker neck or uh, thinner neck. I had one uh, years ago that was owned by this guy, Ralph Grasso, who plays, played with the Nelson Riddle Orchestra. And so, you know, the top guys would come to him, tell him what they want, and he would build them a guitar special. And uh, he, you know, D'Angelico and Stromberg uh, were the two premier archtop boutique builders of their time. Um, you know, they're the absolute Maltese Falcon. Great. Yeah, everybody who was anybody on the scene like had to have, this was like the guitar. Right. Like they went to him. And the very original ones were non-cutaway and then later on when Gibson came out with the cutaway, D'Angelico started building cutaway guitars so you could play a pyre on the neck. And um, this is just like an amazing prize and so we just like to show you some of this stuff from time to time and kind of give you a little backstory. Um, the two top models that D'Angelico made was the XL, which was the equivalent to the L5, it was 17 inch, and then the New Yorker, which was the 18 inch. And Stromberg, his Master 400 was actually 19 inch, it was like huge. So, um, but this is one of the most desirable jazz guitars on the planet and you're seeing it right here at Norm's Red Guitars. My buddy Dave York, and thank you Dave for demoing it. Thank you, Norm.